Hey everyone, it's RTA wicking day. This is the Reload RTA. This is the Wotufo Bravo RTA. And this is the 25 millimeter hive. I've already uh, checked the coils. It's burning pretty good. Um, I always, I don't know if you guys do this, but anytime I dry fire my coils and change the cotton, I always rinse them with water, get all that debris out of them. I mean, these coils, uh, you can see, these coils have been in this RTA for three months. They still look like new because I clean them every time and they're good coils. So I thought I would, uh, with a couple of these uh, without making this too long. Let's start with the hive. And the first thing I'm going to do is turn it off or lock it, whichever. Because it never fails when I'm messing around with these that uh, I end up hitting the button. And for these next, I actually don't even have the batteries in it. So let's take some cotton bacon. And so you basically got this. And we divide it again. So basically these make, one of those strips makes approximately four wicks. Somehow I ended up with an extra one here. Uh, and so, that one still looks like a lot. I'll probably waste a lot of cotton. So, just set aside, let's take one. And what I'll do is I'll take it and I'll basically bend it like so, so that it's even. And I'll snip it. And I'll take one end and give it the old twirl. So that it does this basically. And sometimes I use my tweezers to kind of get it started through, pull it through, like so. I always pull it through and then back, back it off a little. This is one. Hive's not too bad, the 25 especially. Um, the 28 and the 40 millimeter hives can be a little more challenging because you've got such a huge juice well to put your cotton in. Uh, you get a little chunk on the end. It makes it a little hard to get it through. And it should pull through, kind of tugging at your cotton, but not like to the point where it's going to like jerk it out of place. And you know, every, every RTA is a little different. I think the light, I can use a little more light here. I got the blinds open. Um, and so you're basically looking at, okay, so the channel's here, right? Your juice port is down here. So you want to cut it. Usually I'll start out, I'll actually cut it a little long on purpose so that I can go back and hit it again. I just go around, I just cut them all about the same length. After you've done a few, you just kind of go, oh, okay. RDAs are easy. I mean, RDAs, you just trim it, tuck it, and you're done. RTAs take a little more patience. That's why a lot of people squonk too. 
But I like having my tanks. I don't know why. It's just a thing. And so what I'll do is thin these out. And you don't want to thin them out too much up here on top. You want to keep some wick up there. Just kind of thin them out on the ends, make a little fan pattern. And I, I don't know, I see reviewers don't do this, but I do. I kind of pull out the extra. And then I do like what I call my final trim. So now I'm really looking at how far does it really have to go. And then I'm going to trim it. Now with the hive, if you don't leave enough cotton there, you will get some leaking. But you want it to be thin enough to where it's uh, on the ends where it's going to wick. Nothing worse than a dry hit in an RTA. So basically, one little, one little guy with a I don't really do much fancy with these art the uh, hive because you're basically just stuffing it in the juice port. And there's not a lot of distance between where the juice comes in and the coil, so it doesn't have to travel that far. So if you find when you're doing this that you're like stuffing it in there, like I kind of felt like when I was doing this side, that it just felt a little thick. So just take it back out. Thin it out a little bit more. I can tell the other side felt good. And what'll happen is if you have one side wick good on dual coils and the other one's not, then you're gonna get that weird hit where is that a dry hit or is that not a dry hit? Which is it? And then you'd be like, hmm, what did I do? The other thing that happens sometimes with RTAs, you'd be vaping on it and uh, the cotton inside one of your coils will burn up because you've got a hot spot, usually. Um, and that's that weird, hmm, it's sort of vaping, but it's not vaping very well. Okay, so I got those back in there. Okay, it should look about like that. You want a little floof on top. You don't want to pull the cotton like off the coils. You know, you want a little floof because that holds your holds your uh, juice up there. Let's see. This is the hive. What do I want in the hive? You know what? I'm in the mood for Hey Joe. Ugh. Vanilla sugar cookie with ice cream. It really tastes like ice cream too. Not like cold like ice cream, but that vanilla ice cream flavor is a really good one. And I'm gonna get this ready for my drive home. that going and just kind of check in to make sure 
sure I got everything. And then actually what I'll do You don't really have to do this, to be honest. As long as you put the juice on there, the cotton's gonna soak it up. And then what I'll do is, let's take that one and set aside. That was 10 minutes. We'll do one more. Let's do the bottom. Very simple deck. It's actually got uh, four small juice ports, one for each cotton. And then it's got this deck underneath that's almost like an RDTA. So you just dangle your wicks down in here. It's a really great RTA. I wish they had raised this airflow up just a little or lowered the deck, one of the two, to make that uh, where the juice is and up here a little more separate. Because if you don't wick it right, you will get some leaking down in that juice port. So let's pick another piece of cotton. This looks like a good one. Take out any extra stuff. Do the old folder ruski. Just right. Somebody watches probably be like, man, you waste a lot of cotton. I probably do. I've gotten spoiled on these cotton threads. Use them a lot. But I want to try, we can only eat these all with cotton bacon because I want to see how long they last. I did cotton threads last time. They all lasted about about a week or so. So we're gonna go snip, 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 snip. I'm actually, I don't even know if I'm gonna trim these much because I got them pretty close. What I do is I take it and I fold it down like this and I go, okay, so you have a lot more leeway with um, this Bravo RTA. And if you're one of those that takes like a really big hit, you see how they've kind of got a little poof on the top? See like right here? So you want a little bit of poof on top of these. 
is all this holds your juice, you know, for that one hit or two hits, about two or three hits. Then it's got to wick up for the next one. That one out of the way. Now the reload. A lot of people have trouble with the reload. Not a lot of people have them because they're expensive. And I, I'm a big fan. It has the draw that I like. It's a little bit of a restricted direct, direct lung draw. And, and it looks full of shit. And if I'm pulling on it, it's like, mm, it's getting stuck. Just pull a little bit of the cotton off. Mm, I definitely have too much cotton on this one. So same thing. Cotton heaven around here. And put the rest of this back. Now the nice thing about the cotton bacon is you can do a whole lot of builds with it. You know, with, with these, they're really convenient, but if you 10 builds, you're done. You're getting a new pack. That's still a lot cheaper than the pre-made coils and sub on packs. I'm just kind of making sure everything's not too tight. Now, the, our, this reload, which a lot of these top decks are kind of picky. Um, you have to thin these ends out pretty good. And you don't want them too long. You don't want them sitting on the bottom of the deck where the juice cord is. Um, Cause I'll just, you want that juice to go in and kind of get pulled up. So if you look, like you see a little band. Here, let me show you. See that little band right here, okay? Where the cotton goes down in. Okay, so. A lot of RTAs have that same concept, and you want that cotton to lay in there. You don't want it to be stuffed in there, and you want enough on top of that where it's not going to flood or leak. This RTA is very good about not leaking or gurgling or any of that. But it can be a little picky on the wicking. If you're having trouble, like getting an RTA to wick right, you know, because you're getting dry hits, you know, next time you wick it, sand it out until you think you're gonna make a leak. Then the next time you wick it, not so thin. It's not rocket science, it's just cotton. And you also find that uh, different juices um, with the different viscosities are going to make a difference too. So a really thick juice, like super high VG, sometimes those are just better in a dripper. That's why a dripper is like the high VG. Um, but it also has to do with the sugar content and other things.
So let's see how this is looking. So basically I start on one end and I just start grabbing it and tucking it in there. And I can tell that I've got it about right when it goes in real easy, but I've got that poof on top. We'll call it the mushroom cut. So you want the top of your RTA next to the coils, at least my theory, uh, to kind of look like a mushroom. Because you want the top of that cotton around the coils to hold juice. Yeah, that's going to be about right, I think. See? Cotton mushroom. Cotton plume. And you don't want it too much because you also don't want it to hit the cover. But you can kind of tap it down with your finger to get the cover on. So basically, that's it. It's not hard. Was that 20 minutes? I'll go ahead and put the hive on here. Mm. Oh, I need to dry this out first. I'm not going to put it on yet. I thought this would be dry by now. I washed everything with soap. So, anyway, oh, oh, while I'm here, here's three flavors from Branded that are really good desserts strawberry custard and vanilla with caramel birthday cake milkshake and I think this one is lemon cake with strawberry but I don't get much lemon in it it's more of a strawberry pie very creamy mm. and this one I bet you most of you never even heard of pocket square it's a peanut butter wafer it's really freaking good and then of course we've got the hey joe sugar cookie with ice cream all great flavors so that's it I'm gonna put these together and I'm going to do I like I like my pocket square peanut butter on my reload I don't know why I'm weird so I'm gonna continue juicing these hope that helped I know some have been asking about hey wicking because you see it kind of done quickly on videos on YouTube they kind of fast forward through it and I'm not an expert, you know. I've been doing a little bit. RTAs have been my thing since I've been vaping. So, have a good one. Hope that helps somebody. Thanks. And feel free to leave any comments or suggestions.